As a content creator, I create a lot of content. And if there's one thing that I've learned over the past couple years, it's that the less barriers that are in your way, the less stress you'll have when trying to meet deadlines and the easier your life is going to be. Now, whether you're someone who creates long form videos, wants to level up their podcasts or edit engaging short form content, you're going to want to know the sponsor of today's video, and that's Riverside FM. Riverside FM is a text-based video editor, but also an all-in-one communication platform where you can host meetings, have a chat with a friend, or even start your own podcast. Today, we're gonna have a conversation with my friends Taha and Anthony to see how a tool like Riverside could help with their workflow, but also run through some of the special features that Riverside offers that make it super unique. So if someone asked me, what do I do? I would describe myself as a photographer first. Uh, I started out with photography and then I started moving into more video and content creation. So I'm a photographer first and I'd say I'm a content creator second. Now, one thing that you might notice from this screen recording is that the quality isn't the best, but when I play it back, it's up to 4K. This is something unique that Riverside does, and what actually happens is it saves a high quality recording locally to each person's computer, then it uploads both files to Riverside after the call is over. That way you can record a podcast or a meeting, and you don't have to worry about the stream breaking up at an important segment. At the end of your call, you have a full resolution file from each guest that you can edit and do whatever you want with. A lot of people think that filming the video is most of the process. It's it's almost half the battle because the other half is basically in the post-processing. Even because me, my, because English isn't my first language, I, I find that I mess up a lot and that I have to scrub through, uh, let's say, a, a video that would be, if I don't mess up, would be, let's say, around eight, nine minutes. I have to scrub through 16, 17 minutes of footage to basically put everything together. Now this is something I feel like every creator of deal now this is something I feel like every creator deals with. I've created hundreds of pieces of content and still mess up my line over and over. I've done it in this video here. One of my favorite features of Riverside is its text-based editor. Because it automatically spits out a transcript for any video, it makes it super easy to edit. You no longer have to watch through your footage to cut out all the mistakes. Just select the text or the sentence, delete it, and it'll automatically cut your footage to remove that section out of your video. That spot where you said that word that you wanna emphasize. So I can see that being really hard, grabbing the assets and the text and then moving it and trying to, this makes a process of cutting up your footage and removing all the bad takes much faster and much easier. Being able to see these mistakes and editing a video through text is honestly a game changer. Now something to keep in mind is that these features I'll be talking about work for any video clip, even if not filmed in Riverside. So if you're like, I don't know if I'll be filming podcasts or anything on here or doing any live streams, you can still upload your short video clips or your long form YouTube videos and take advantage of all these amazing features. You know, after basically cutting up all the footage and color grading and fixing the audio, um, the one thing that I find myself doing at the end and having to go through my footage again is basically adding text on screen or titles or subtitles basically just to you know keep the audience engaged keep up their attention rate make sure that they know what i'm talking talking about and make sure that if if they scrub through the footage they can see the big titles on screen to know which section to go to so yeah adding i guess titles at the end your content has a lot of um text popping up like your youtube video the one you recently made on the fujifilm camera for short form content if you want to caption it so i i go through my sentences line by line and I and I caption every th single thing I say. So that also takes a lot of time because I have to also re-listen to my footage and basically, you know, write down all the sentences that I said. Yeah, captions, I don't think people realize it, like having to write out each line, each sentence over and over. It it's a hard process and it takes up time. When it comes to captions and adding text to emphasize words, it's hard to do in most editing softwares. It's not that it's hard to do, but it just takes time. Because Riverside already processes and transcribes your footage, adding captions and emphasizing certain words in your video is as simple as just a few clicks.
But let's hop on a call with my friend Anthony. Now, if you've been following me, you've probably seen his content as well. But if you haven't, this is the Canon R6 Mark II. <laughs> I like to think of myself as a photographer slash content creator, although most of the time now when I say that, it really just means I'm doing content creation, I'm doing YouTube, I'm making short form content. But you know, to say you're a content creator is such a wide spectrum of things that I, I really do identify as a photographer, because even within the content creation camera gear space, like you can be a photographer, you can be a filmmaker or more like video centric, I would say I'm definitely more photo centric. You've streamlined it quite a bit. Are there still things that get in your way? Like, are there still barriers or like things that kind of slow you down from like creating, you know, with ease? Yeah, I mean, editing is probably the thing that takes up the most amount of time for me right now, because, you know, you could shoot a video half an hour later, you now have an hour of footage that you have to cut down and you're like, oh, this is only supposed to be a five minute video. You make a YouTube video, you post it and then you're like, oh, but I also need to make YouTube shorts out of it. So do I have to now now re-record it or does it make sense for me to clip it and then reframe it? And so a lot of the time I'm wasting additional time going back and maybe shooting a B roll that's vertical or having to sh even just reshoot the A roll to make it so that it's more suitable for like a, a YouTube shorts or a TikTok style of format. I feel like most of the time we have an idea of what where the good parts are, like maybe there was an example, but sometimes we just need like a little bit of help to be like, okay, what moment was actually good? Because it's not like you have people in your comments saying like, oh, clip this, like you have to actually go back and, and a lot of the time spend the, the time and the effort to figure that out for yourself. Now, this is something I've heard many creators struggle with as well, and it's something that I found slows my workflow down. In Riverside, you basically have three ways to edit your video. You have magic clips, which will use AI to automatically generate clips from the key moments of your video. And this is kind of what Anthony and I were talking about, having to go back to editing, cut out and reframe all your clips just to create a short video for socials. It takes a lot of time, but it's nice that you can do it in Riverside with just one click basically just to you know keep the audience engaged keep up their attention rate make sure that now there's also a full episode again this will use ai to go through your clip and clean it up remove pauses add captions and basically get a video or a podcast ready to go out and post it without really having to do much post-processing then there's start from scratch, which throws your clip on a timeline and lets you do whatever you want with it. When in the editor, you can easily reframe your clips in multiple aspect ratios for social media, for YouTube videos, for you know Instagram and LinkedIn. You can choose between different layouts, add captions, text. But one really cool feature is actually up here in Magic Tools and it's called Set Pace. Going through your timeline and listening to your entire video just to remove or trim any pauses and then getting those pauses to be the same length throughout the entire video so that your video actually flows well can get quite tedious. So with this magic tool, you can set the pace of your video with these different presets, natural, balanced, fast, and super fast. If you want your YouTube video to be more engaging, something like balanced might be a good option. When it comes to short form content, I like mine to be more fast paced to keep the audience engaged. So using super fast will keep the cuts quick and essentially remove the majority of pauses. This is all really cool because it means I can remove all the mistakes, add my text, captions, set the pace for YouTube and export. Then reframe for short content, change it to a faster pace video, maybe change the layout and export again, all super quickly without needing to create new timelines, scaling your texts and all the other headaches that come from reusing content for another platform. Take me through the gear. So right now, I it'll it'll depend because I've got the R5, the R6 Mark II. It's just literally whatever one is set up. Personally, I think this is one of those tools that I think every creator should have. The text-based video editor alone, it makes it worth it for me. But the fact that you can upload your own clip and still take advantage of all their editing features is a game changer. Now, personally, I'm on the pro creator plan, which is $24 a month. And as someone who values my time, if I'm putting out four long, form and 30 short videos a month, basically one every day. I know 
It's ridiculous. But if I'm shaving several hours off my editing time, but even getting perks like having a full transcript of my video that I can upload to YouTube for captions or translate to different languages for better SEO, it just makes sense. So if you are a creator and you wanna give Riverside a try, you can do so for free using the link in my description. And when you're ready to sign up to get those extra perks and extra features, you can get 15% off if you use my code. Thank you Riverside for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you in the next one.